I started out, obviously, like everybody else does, going to school. Didn't do very well, didn't have a particularly good time at school, came out, didn't have all the GCSEs that everyone else came out of school with. Um, so I went straight into work, had a couple of dead-end jobs, or what people have called dead-end jobs, working in cafes, working in laundries, anything to get by. My name's Zara. I used to work in a mainstream school, now I work in an alternative provision. Uh, I'm an intervention lead. My name is Jennifer and I'm a family support worker in a primary school. Decided to go to college. Um, I did a diploma in childcare. Um, passed that with distinction and I thought, wait a minute, I can actually do this. Um, worked in childcare for quite a few years. Then I decided when I was made redundant to go to college again to do my QCF in teaching assistant. Um, and the teaching learning champions came from Leeds University to talk to us about foundation degree. At that point I thought, hey, no, this isn't going to happen, no, they're not talking to me, and kind of dismissed it. I was offered an interview, came, and here I am two years later. Um, second year student, almost on to my third year, um, and I'm doing pretty well, if I do say so myself, so yeah. I was a stay-at-home mum for a very long time, however my girls grew up and things didn't exactly work out like they should, so I went back into voluntary work um, and through the voluntary work I then decided to do my qualifications again, so I went back to college and I sat my uh, GCSEs again and then I did my A-levels and um, I thought where am I going to go with this? And um, the, the, the lady who came from the university, somebody called Sarah, she, she encouraged me to say that, well, with this, this can happen. And from there, she planted the seed for me to actually think, yeah, actually, maybe now I can go to university. Whereas that thought, a few years before, that would never have entered my mind. I already used to have sort of like uh, opinions about everything, if you want to say. I never really used to follow through what anyone told me or from what I heard but what this course has done for me is it's reinforced that whereas probably I never used to question things before where I do question things a lot more now. I, I, I believe that learning, whatever you learn is useful so whatever I've learned here will come into use for me at some point in my life. About three years ago, I became a single mum, my husband and I separated and um, at that point I thought I need to do something for myself. Um, my girls were getting older and I thought I need to do something for myself where I'm going to end up having qualifications so that I can get a job, I can earn more money, I can look after me and my daughters. Um, and I went to college to train as a teaching assistant and at that point, similar to you Zara, mm -hmm. they came in from uni talked about these courses at the Lifelong Learning Centre which I suddenly thought I could do I could do that because yeah. it's part time, it's not every day, I wouldn't have to leave my job. Yeah. Um, which was, a, that was the biggest incentive for me knowing yeah. that I could still yeah. work. Yeah. I like learning but sitting down and doing things has never been my thing but I've learned skills that are transferable. I feel that um, it is achievable. You just need to be mindful. And it's not in, it's not an easy journey, but you need to be very, very determined. And also there's a lot of support around us. Loads of support. Loads the of staff support. are really, really yeah. good. And they, they understand as well, they yeah, understand they that yeah. we've all got yeah. other things going on as yeah. well. We've got work, we've got yeah. kids, we've got so family. Yeah. They understand, yeah. Just believe in yourself because obviously there is a lot of doubt if if you've not been in higher education, I never thought I could do it. And as I say, I'm going on to my third year now. And it is achievable. There's a lot of support out there. There have been times when, yes, I've thought of giving it up <laughs> quite a lot of times, actually. Um, but there is support out there. There are people. You will find new friends. Um, you will find a support network. And you, you can do it.